China deals with the devastating aftermath of catastrophic flooding. Thousands are evacuated from Hernan province. At least 33 people are confirmed dead. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated from the central Chinese region of Hernan as officials confirmed that at least 33 people have died. That includes a dozen commuters in the provincial capital Zhengzhou who were caught on the city's underground as carriages filled with water. The city had a year's worth of rain in three days and more is forecast. Our correspondent Robin Brandt is there and sent us this report. The rain has stopped for now. But some of the roads are still like rivers, evidence of how overwhelming the incessant rainfall was. Above ground, they are starting to clear up, though. But the true horror of this intersection is what happened underground at this metro station. As the rain came down at its heaviest, passengers stood in train carriages, trapped for hours as the tunnels flooded. At least 12 people died down there. The company in charge has blamed the unprecedented downpour. The government in Beijing has ordered a national review of preparedness. The ill-fated metro system is shut down. Police stood guard over one entrance when we were there. To show them the metro station where the people died. They didn't like us filming. After my ID was checked, I asked one officer if this was a crime scene. Elsewhere, others lost their livelihoods. This woman told us how her baking business was wiped out in minutes. Everything was washed away. Nothing was left. I just dug my clothes out. The water was up to my chest. We ran out for our lives without taking anything. Her bed tonight is the floor. One of the 1.2 million people the government here said was affected by these floods. <laughs> Out of the city north, the rain was still coming down and the rescuers were still rescuing. We've just come from a place where they are tidying up and trying to get back to normal, but 30 kilometres north here, it's still a recovery operation. Rescue workers there in fluorescent life jackets. And if I just swivel you round to the right, well, this is a road that's turned into a, a river, a lake, call it what you like. 100 metres down there, the water is at knee level, even further, it's at chest level. So the rain has stopped for now, but this is still a crisis. From above, the huge scale of what happened here becomes clearer. The electricity supply and mobile phone coverage is not fully restored, but the worst of the rain seems to have passed for now, which leaves time for other things. Fishing in an underpass? Robin Brandt, BBC News, Zhengzhou in eastern China.